Hello and welcome PML fans, I am your host Joseph Moore here, and I am doing a late night scrimmage battle versus the LA Needle Kings, my good friend Danny Max, and um, we're basically just using our team from the last week we battled, so we're going to see how this goes, because I do not know what the hell is on this team, he, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know what's on my team. But we're going to go ahead and do a quick fun battle and <laughs> figure this shit out. Alright, so it looks like he has Kangaskhan, Toxtricity, Garchomp, the Pokemon I dropped, funny enough, he went ahead and picked up. Uh, then he has Surfetch, um, Falco, whatever the fuck that Pokemon's name is, and Wigglytuff. And Wigglytuff gave... Uh, Well, it looks like we're going to have to um, uh, pick our leak here and restart. So, Well, he leaves Big Mama here. I don't assume he'll lead it again. This isn't what I wanted to lead. So, we'll, we're just going to go ahead and run. And this is how a scrimmage goes sometimes, you know? <laughs> Underprepared and... Underprepared and ready to go. Alright, so again, we, we have not prepped for each other's teams. So... He's going to keep the same lead, so I will too. Not what I wanted to lead with, honestly, but you know. It's just, it's just for fun just a scrimmage so we won't take it too deep <laughs> with it honestly so i'm just gonna go ahead and leave flake here it is choice ban i don't know if we have a superpower on it i honestly don't think we do but let's go ahead and good luck have fun danny max Let's get this battle underway. Good luck again, Danny. Just type it to him. Let's see how this battle goes. So we have nothing really. But I don't think he has fire punch. So I'm just gonna first impression, get some big damage off on Big Mama. He goes for protect I guess predicting. Our first impression. So good first turn for him. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and switch out to Aqua Fisca. Because it's our really defensive mod. It could take pretty much anything Big Mama can do to us. And it just goes for a witch. So what else does he have in the back? We're going to go ahead and go for the Stealth Rock here. He might just go straight to Talon Flame. But I doubt it. <laughs> he goes for Toxic and he misses. Oh, the negatives of having a non-poison non type Pokemon going for Toxic. So now we're going to switch back to Flick here. Picking the Toxic again. Mm -hmm. 
And he goes for the seismic toss. Okay, he might go protect again. So I'm gonna go Nacho Libre here. To get the Intimidate off. And this Kang is Sorry, I'm pretty drunk. This Kangaskhan is obviously being a pretty big problem right now. Oh, Scrappy doesn't allow the lower of attack. You know, that, that's pretty fucking nice, I gotta say. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the knockoff here. He goes for the Witch, so he's gonna heal up back. But it will, will at least knock off its item. And pretty good damage there, leftovers. And we're gonna go ahead and go for the Drain Punch. It's gonna be faster than us, so we're gonna get a hit. But we should be able to heal up whatever it does to us. Ooh, and that's a good chunk of damage right there. It's gonna heal back up with Wish. But we're gonna go ahead and heal up almost to full thanks to that drain punch there. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and go for Flare Blitz, assuming he switches here. And he just goes for Toxic and he hits it this time. Which is fine. We're okay with that. Now to Libra has plenty of HP to go around. So, Flame, uh, Flare Blitz, sorry, not Flame Charge. Flare Blitz goes ahead and gives a lot of damage off there. And he most likely will switch here if he wants to keep this thing. So, we're going to go for the knockoff. He, he just wishes you. Okay, so, he's cool with Kangaskhan living anything we have, but... Knockoff actually takes it out. I did not think we would get the kill after his leftovers was knocked off. But we got lucky there that it wasn't fully defensive. So we finally get his lead mon out of the way. We do have Toxic. And now he brings in Raid. So we're going to have to deal with that. It does take rock damage. We're going to go to Aqua Fist here. He might predict to go for the Leaf Blade, but I highly doubt it. I think he just goes for the close combat here. Oh, he goes for the Dynamax. He ain't playing around. He's like, I weakened your team enough. Max enough of time. Here we go. Do a good chunk to us here. And Mama's Wish came true and it kills up that thing right there. We're gonna go ahead and switch to Nacho Libre, expecting the max overgrowth. And this is scrappy as well, so we will not get the Intimidate off. And Max Knuckle comes off, so he was not worried about <laughs> using a super effective move. He just wanted to get the damage off. And Incineroar takes that brunt of the damage there. So we're going to go ahead and go to Bell here. We're gonna Dynamax. Fuck this mod. <laughs> Literally. Max Starfall is what we're gonna do here. We're playing a little too safe. We're gonna start getting a little aggressive. Most of the max air stream is gonna hurt. And we don't live, so we're fucked. Oh man. I 
think he got it now. I don't think uh, we'll be able to tank this thing out at plus two speed. But uh, it's gonna walk the time. I mean, what we gotta do? We kind of wasted our time. Well, we really did wasted our time because it took us down one hit. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the Sludge Bomb here. Stab. Brave Bird comes off, and that's probably gonna knock it out. And it does. Oh shit, we just lost. The fucking Surf Edge. A lot of recoil damage there. Alright, we're going to Aqua Pista now. Leaf Blade's definitely going to kill us here. And we'll just go flip turn. He's going to go Brave Bird. We could potentially live that. And we do. Ooh, Rocky Helmet. Knocked it down. And we get the kill with flip turn. Interesting enough. So I guess, um... We're going to go to Flick here and see what he decides to go to. So luckily we do not get swept by the Surf Edge. Luckily enough. What did he decide to go to? We are towards Bandit, so we got to lock ourselves into a move. He goes to Rex here. He gets some chip. He's gonna be faster, I believe. We're just gonna go for first impression. And it takes it out, no problem. So, guard time goes down. <laughs> In uh, next turn, we're going to have to sack off Swampert because, again, we're Choice Bandit. We're Choice Bandit. Here. And he's going to go Autotomize. Oh, I already know. We fucking lost. So stupid. Why do I have to be Choice? He's going to go Shift Gear here. He goes Fire Punch. Okay, sweet. So, Swampert goes out. Flick's coming back in. Does he have any flyers? If he has flyers, he can't go for Stomping Panther. And he does have a flyer. So, we gotta go for Crunk. He withdraws here, goes to the Fury, and we're going to go ahead and get this Crunch off here. Oh yeah. Let's get another Crunch off. I don't know if we're faster. I might have made this adamant. Uh, he might go down to his own Flare Blitz. I hope he doesn't. Sweet. So Chowder is going to come in here. We're not going to be able to take out the toxicity even after a belly drum because we have nothing to hit it with, honestly. So I think um, Danny's going to get the win here. He goes to the Brave Bird. Naturally faster. And we get a free. Well, not a free. But we get a belly drum off. And now we're pretty much faster than this whole team. So this is going to make for an interesting battle here. Can Flayra take out the toxicity? We're going to find out. Because I know Drain comes out. Alright, 
Alright, let's go ahead and go for the player up here. We do take out Silence. He says it's GG, but I don't know. Um, the Joy comes out, and we're gonna just go for the Drain Punch on this thing. It lives. So if it can kill us, if it can retaliate here, um, we're done for. Oh, and it doesn't quite take us out, and we can finish it off with Drain Punch, and we get the win against. Danny Mac. Oh, it makes me feel good to actually get a win against this guy. I haven't battled him in a draft setting, so this is pretty cool. Honestly, it's not as fulfilling because he didn't fully prep for me and I didn't fully prep for him. But he, it, this was a great game, great scrimmage, and um, I'm glad we did this battle. So GG, Danny Mac, and uh, I appreciate your time.